Well, this is Lopetegui's first competitive starting 11. Two changes from that win in Belgium last week. Barcelona's Sergi Roberto replaces Real Madrid's Dani Carvajal at right back. And the recall, Chelsea striker Diego Costa is preferred to Real Madrid's Alvaro Morata. Andres Iniesta is injured, recovering from a knee injury, while Ike Casillas and Cesc Fabregas were overlooked by the new coach. Friendly against Denmark with Max Kerpel replacing Andreas Christen. Only four of this lineup play their club football at the highest level, albeit in Switzerland with Liechtenstein based club Vaduz. Liechtenstein does not have its own domestic league. For the first time in a decade, Spain launch a qualifying campaign not as defending champions. Pushing and shoving, as we're used to seeing. It's been toned down in England, which is great to see. And the header is in! It's Diego Costa who heads Spain in front. It's taken just under 10 minutes for competitive football under the new coach, Julian Lopetegui, to produce a Spanish goal. Well, I said to you before the game, I said, they're not a very big side. Got two at the back who are five foot nine, one at six foot one, and one other player at six foot one. And you can see there, nobody near Diego Costa at six foot two. Delivery's brilliant from Koke. Gary, do you think the goalkeeper has to come here? I don't think so, no, because he's not near the edge of the six yard box. I, I'm not for one for le letting goalkeepers come diving over bodies because they often get it wrong. I think it was there to be dealt with by. In by Silva. That's going to beat everyone. It's poor by his very high standard. Space on the right for Sergio Roberto here. And we're queuing up for a moment there, Spain still in the danger area as far as Liechtenstein are concerned. Silva. Vitolo. Costa. A better first touch and he might have got a shot away. That's what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Plenty of room here for Ramos. Alba. Good ball to David Silva. And they defend that well, Liechtenstein. That was a, an inviting ball. Spencer's deliver. Play the ball quickly. Excellent movement there. Clearly onside. Just doesn't look up there. Puts in an area where he expects a teammate to be, but you rightly say. Lichtenstein defend it very well. Busquets, Ramos. Heather was from uh, Thiago, he was looking for Koke. There's Koke, Thiago in space. Up goes Ramos and between them. Kaufman in particular, I think, doing the good job there to concede the corner. Decent delivery, and one that Sergio Ramos loves to attack. Ten goals in his previous 137 caps. David Silva's corner to Koke. And it's cleared off the line. It's back in again, though, and Busquets. And there's an offside in there. And Busquets is denied an international goal, a rare one. That was almost comical, wasn't it? Switched off for once there, Lichtenstein from that short corner. He misses it. Look at that, misses it totally. Gets lucky. Very lucky. And then he's bouncing around the box. He hits his own man on the line. Should have scored that. I mean, he gets very lucky there. He would have been very unfortunate to concede. And the goalkeeper makes his first save. Somehow they deal with it. In the end, it's offside. But I expected to see that in the back of the net. Bouncing all over the plane. Here is Busquets. Vitolo's cross. Oh, it's a chance for Costa. I don't think I've ever seen a Spanish team put so many balls in the box 
in the air. Nice little jink there, just hangs it up there. I think he just got put off there a little bit by Paul Verino. Clips it beautifully. Still expecting to do a little bit better. And the applause for the cross, I think. Not It's Group G, it's European teams team. A little bit more dash into Spain's play and ask a few more questions of Liechtenstein. Early signs are good here in the second half. This is Vitolo. Skips around a challenge of Gerpel. That's a good take from Yella. It's an excellent take, but don't you think he should have just pulled it back a little bit more? Does brilliantly there. Lovely little sidestep. Far too close to the goalkeeper there, just put a lap back a little bit. He's got two players there, and rightly so, they've got their arms out saying, Why don't you just put it back a little bit? Stolen by Vitolo. It's a surging run. And the man from Sevilla releases David Silva, sits the goalkeeper down, but Yella's done enough. It's brilliant from Peter Yella. It's a, it a terrific burst. Now look at this, the keeper does really well. Right, now put it in, now put it in. It just takes too long. And that's brilliant again. By Yella. There, now, you sent two players the wrong way. There's a touch, you don't really need it. Gives the keeper the chance just to get hand on it. But what he did after that was absolutely brilliant as well. It is Koke. Oh, he's so unlucky. Smacks back off the post. Goal kick. Really having to stretch to reach the cross. Oh, there's the free kick. Beating all ends up. Yella. Beautiful technique. Wonderful pace. Just denied by the frame of the goal. Nolito. Here's a chance to. Really well taken by Sergio Roberto. And when Spain play at a tempo like that, that's when they're at their best. But that's what we used to seeing from Spain. They're certainly up the tempo this second half. The half a yard quicker, they're moving the ball quicker. And he's got a morose look on his face, but his team have done brilliantly to keep it to 2-0. And they give the ball away there, but look at the movement there. That's what it's all about, a little bit of movement. I always say it's not extravagant movement. Little, little, little nutmegs there, two nutmegs on the goalkeeper as well. Audacious, he meant that. Wonderfully done. Yella comes out, just toe pokes it through his legs. It's always the best place to hit for a round of a goalkeeper, around his feet. They don't like it around the feet. I was always told that. Pull back. The genuine pace, and a lot of midfield players like Isco and Silva and matter we don't really do that we play in front of defenders and yes they can find a killer pass Sergio Roberto it's only his third cap at the highest level Silva Vitolo chance to measure his cross and finds the perfect one for David Silva he did his best to miss that didn't he <laughs> They've just started to lose concentration now. Captain Stein, they've switched off, and they're mentally tired. You get away with it physically, but when your mind switches off and you just start drifting, a team like Spain will take you apart. Two goals against Belgium last week. One now in the first competitive game under Lopetegui for Zavid Silva. And there's a run. Look, talk about statues, there's four of them there. Good first touch. Sees the run, not a man in blue there, hits the underside of the bar. Not from two yards, nearly got it wrong. You have to ask questions about the defending there. Four blue shirts, just stood still. Costa, lovely layoff, could be four, is four. It's Vitolo. And suddenly it's raining goals in Leon. 
Well, you've got to give him credit. The coach changed things a little bit at half-time, went a little bit more proactive. Obviously had a few words to say to get that tempo higher. And it's paying off massively, but again, defenders all over the place. Concentration totally and utterly gone. Lovely little touch there. Is that from Diego Costa? It was beautifully done. Just cushioned into the path, and if you miss that, you're in trouble. No way he's going to miss that. Beautifully worked. Just what we expect from. Don't want to lose possession there, Liechtenstein. They have Sergio Roberto Silva. And the shot's wide from Costa. Good side of the target there. Sergio Roberto again. What is he doing there? Causing havoc. That's what he's doing. A little bit lucky, comes back and slightly off balance when he hits it. Two defenders. Diego Costa, and now Busquets. Here's Silva. Oh, Costa, they parted there. It's Diego Costa, and it's five. Second on the night for Costa. Somewhat fortunate with the ricochet back off the goalkeeper, Yella. But where or where did the defenders disappear to there that opened up the initial space for this man? What was he doing, the defender? I'm not sure who it was. The person who's the most dangerous is the man with the ball at his feet. Comes to Costa, you watch it in a minute, and he disappears the other way. If he stays there, he just forces him backwards. That's naivety. There's the ball played, he wants it. Where's he going? He does well there, Costa. You think he's going to save the first, score the first one. The keeper makes a decent save. It's around his feet. Lovely little check there. Saves it, but he's got enough about him still to follow that up. And that's a good header. Swing his foot and didn't really get the power. You don't always do that. You, when you see somebody swing a foot like that, it doesn't always generate the, the most power. When you've got a short back lift, that's when you generate the power. But... Deliberately played out here to Koke. Busquets. Ramos. Free header in there. And Morata. Well, no, he should have done better that. It is Ramos. He did pull rank. Trying to add to those ten goals he scored. It's way over the bar. Liechtenstein getting ready to bring Robin Gupsa on. Sergio Roberto made a good run there. Silva. Asensio. Nolito, Morata, shot on here, it's six. Well, Yella has to be saving that at the near post, somehow got through his grasp. And Alvo Morata joins the goal-scoring party. Did well initially, though, just checked to his left, giving himself the time and the space to get that power behind, but you're right. Yella has got to stop that at the near post for me. Pat of consolation, but that's not make him feel any better. The captain, beautifully worked again. Thought he was going to hit it with his right, checked on his left. No, you've got to save that. Always protect that near post. Silver, a little, little shimmy inside. Weights and weights. Done at the right time. There, lovely little check there. And did it take a bit of a deflection? Yes, off Paul Verino. Forgive the goalkeeper a little bit, but still that near post has to be protected. Well, I did say it could be anything they want it to be. 
Here they come again. And it's seven. Morata this time. Okay. Well, they have disintegrated Liechtenstein. Yeller again has got to do better. You'd have thought that was a Liechtenstein bench there. This is more like it. Pass it. I've got to say that. The side foot. Just get, get the furthest forward he's been all match. Side foots it and Yellow's got to do better and he knows it. Disgusted with himself. Coach is not the best pleased either. Seeing them do. Couldn't understand them trying to get Costa into the game and play to his strengths. Lichtenstein struggling to make the challenges. It's going to drop here for David Silva. Will that come off the post or the goalkeeper? It was the post. Lucky get the deflection. Comes off the post there. And the build ups. It's quick, it's incisive. They get a little bit of luck, but when you do things like that, you deserve a bit of luck. That's for brute strength. Post two or three times he's done it. it. Shows the concentration is so important. Nice touch from Koke. Morata on side. Good save from Yella. Well, everybody thought he was off skill. Ramos. Silva. Smart turn away from Kaufman. And Silva! It's eight. Well, they weren't settling for seven, were they? There's a flag, oh, the flag's gone up. The referee that was late. across to have a word. Are you sure? I think there's the message from Lee Evans, the Welsh referee. He's given offside. It appeared very late because he looked straight away across. Just brilliantly here. Ah, I'm sighting the keeper. Can understand that. Right in front there. Offside position, obscure. And Spain still looking to put the gloss on it with an eighth, and Silva does. What a tremendous finish. Well, having been denied a few moments ago, not to be denied here, and they edge closer to their record. World Cup qualifying win. It came in their very opening qualifying match against Portugal. That was a 9-0 victory. Well, now they've put eight past Liechtenstein, seven of them in this second half. Oh, look at that layoff. He looked straight across at the assistant there. When he... That's a beautiful layoff. Cushioned beautifully in his path. A little bit of a deflection Good for Yeller again. Look, he's looking across at the assistant thinking, oh, you're not putting it up again, are you? No, he's having a look still. Not sure. There you go. Eight it is. Almost had the three extra minutes. And that's it. Well, a, a game of two halves, a proverbial game of two halves. Lopez take his first competitive game in charge. And he nearly entered the record books. Just one short of their highest ever World Cup qualifying win. A 9-0 success against Portugal. Two goals each for Costa, Silva and Morata, who came off the bench. One each for Roberto and Vitolo, their first senior international goals. Liechtenstein well and truly put to the sword here after a brave first-half performance. Second half, well, they collapsed. Great entertainment for the crowd here at the Reino de Leon Stadium. And the full-time score in Group G is Spain 8, Liechtenstein 0.